Hi, I'm Jerry Branham, and I'm here to answer another common misconception that a lot of people wonder about online, and you know they ask about this in forums and on Facebook. And that question is: Is protein dangerous for your kidneys? Uh, I've been hearing this again for many years. And it's kind of funny how this all started, this idea that protein's bad for the kidneys. Years ago, there was an article published in a prestigious medical journal called the New England Journal of Medicine. And the author of the study noticed that kidney patients, people in, re in uh, kidney re uh, renal failure, it's called, uh, you know, they, these are the people that have to be on kidney dialysis machines. Uh, their kidneys are, are in such bad shape that they cannot handle large amounts of protein. They can't process the metabolic byproducts of protein such as urea. As a consequence, they have to be on very limited protein diets. So because these, let's say, uh, uh, kidney patients or, or uh, uh, kidney failure patients, I should say, because of the fact that they could not ingest a lot of protein, the guy who wrote this article extrapolated that to, to a hypothesis that uh, large amounts of protein can actually damage the kidneys. And his hypothesis was based on the notion that when you consume protein, you increase the local localized blood pressure in the kidneys, and this constant increase, this spike in blood pressure, I should say, induced by a high-protein diet, eventually causes damage to the nephrons or the filtering units inside the kidney, which eventually causes them to basically die. This eventually leads to kidney damage and kidney failure. In fact, the, the blood pressure in the kidneys is always higher than in other organs because the blood pressure has to be higher in order for the kidneys to properly filter the blood. In fact, one of the biggest dangers of having, of, of having a sudden drop in low blood pressure or shock is that you can go into renal failure immediately because the kidneys stop functioning unless they have a certain amount of blood pressure. And so this researcher felt that because ingesting protein increased that, that level of, of, uh, of blood pressure, it led to kidney damage. And, you know, this was passed on through the years. Uh, and uh, the, pro the problem was that this was never shown to be true. It was strictly a hypothesis. When they gave rats uh, the equivalent of about three, 400 grams of protein in humans, what happened was the rat's kidneys got a little bit enlarged, but that was an, an adoption of the kidneys to deal with the extra protein they were eating. There was no actual damage to the filtering units. They've had subsequent studies over the years including studies with bodybuilders taking in as massive amounts of protein, three, 400 grams or more, never any indication of any damage to normal kidneys. Now, let me point out, if you have pre-existing kidney disease, which can be ascertained by certain blood tests, such as BUN, blood urine nitrogen, creatinine, BUN, creatinine ratio, there's a number of tests if you already show damage to your kidneys, it's not a good idea to, in, to ingest massive amounts of protein because you could be compounding the damage. However, those with normally functioning kidneys do not have any concern about ingesting a high-protein diet, damaging your kidneys. It's nonsensical. In, in fact, just last week, in a, uh, again, another prestigious journal. This one's called the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. They just came out with a study. This is just last week where they found that ingesting either plant protein or animal protein had no negative effects on the kidneys. Now, what I would suggest if you're concerned about maintaining kidney function, there's two things you could do. One, Never restrict your water intake. Never let yourself get dehydrated. Because when you get dehydrated, your blood volume goes down. And as your blood volume goes down, there's less localized blood pressure in the kidneys. That can lead to kidney damage. So rule number one, never let yourself get dehydrated. If you take diuretics, be very careful. 
taking diuretics and, and limiting water intake. I've, I've seen it happen in bodybuilders where normally healthy bodybuilders with normal functioning kidneys have given themselves kidney damage just from taking a large amount of diuretics and, and also dehydrating themselves by drinking no fluid. It's, it's, just, it's like killing your kidneys. The second thing is that there's an amino acid. Uh, well, I should say, let me put it this way. The second thing you want to do is do everything you can to maintain your nitric oxide functioning. Nitric oxide, also called NO, one of the main things it does is it dilates blood vessels, including blood vessels in the kidney. And what they found in scientific studies is that having a good nitric oxide production in your blood vessels actually protects your kidney filtering units. So, so what you want to do is, is ingest supplements like citrulline, or if you want to eat watermelon, which is a good natural source of citrulline, you want to drink beet juice two and a half hours before you work out. You could try taking arginine. That's not as effective, but arginine is the immediate precursor to nitric oxide. So those are the things you can do to protect your kidneys. And again, let me reiterate, if your kidneys are have normal function as judged by kidney tests, kidney uh, lab tests, don't worry about injuring your kidney. That is plain pure bullshit. If you want more information about this, this type of topic and other topics related to exercise, nutrition science, anti-aging, fat loss research, hormonal manipulation, and other su subjects, 40 to 50 pages a month at a cost of 33 cents a day, you read my newsletter for six months, you will be an expert on any subject I write about because my articles are in-depth, they're easy to read, and I promise you, you have my word of honor, they'll answer every question you have on any topic I write about. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. And if you want to, the best friend you can ever find, do what I did. Go to a shelter. Adopt a dog. They're fantastic. Take care. As far as the Kevin Lavroni analysis, I was right. And I will not lose a wink of sleep. And if I lost whatever 30-year relationship we had, that's on him. I didn't wish anything bad for him, but he's 52. I was wondering at some point where he would reveal the purpose. He said God was telling him to do these things. I thought maybe he's doing it for a supplement company. We didn't hear anything about a monetary reason. We just heard God put him on a mission. Finish what you start. Honor your commitment. The worst thing that could have happened is that he backs out. Mm -hmm. So literally he's going into this contest with a gun to his head, knowing that he has to do this for the fans because he signed a contract. And I got to tell you... But on some level, that can't be fun.